All right, plenty of mischief and mayhem Christmas week across the country. You know, it was about uh, three weeks ago we saw that Arctic air was coming across the central U.S. Whenever you get Arctic air, you know what you always have to worry about on the leading edge of that Arctic air? A storm, and we're going to see, I think, a snowstorm late next week, Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday as that Arctic air comes southward. And there, there's also going to be uh, snow with that Arctic boundary as well. And, and the term blizzard is at least in the conversation depending on how this storm forms, but it's going to be a big snowstorm. There's going to be travel delays, and there's going to be a lot of Arctic air coming in behind this storm. And in fact, in the wake of this storm on Christmas Day, for many, it'll be the coldest Christmas Day in decades. Now, why are we so sure that there's going to be a snowstorm? Well, the ingredients. First of all, this time of the year, you still have warm waters in the Atlantic, but the difference maker here is this Arctic air coming southward. So then that makes a pretty big temperature difference between the two air masses and your storms will tend to go between the two different air masses. Now, where does the storm go? Does it come up the coast or does it take more of an inland track? That'll all depend on this, where our jet stream uh, sets up shop. The farther east it is, the more likely the storm's up the coast. The farther west, the more likely it's more of an inland track, but there is going to be a strengthening jet stream. So when you go one, two, three, you're going to get a snowstorm late next week. Let me show you how it's going to come about. I'm going to draw on this a little bit. Okay. Here's our initial piece of energy. We're going to be tracking this Sunday night into Monday across the plains. There could be some snow and ice with this. We think that this energy kind of fades. You'll notice you don't see much with it in the yellow when you're looking at the energy key as we get into early next week. Now, you look to the north, here's your initial surge of colder air coming in across the northeast, midwest. That starts getting the atmosphere ready for the big enchilada, the colder air, later in the week. But this upper low moves, and then this is the piece of energy that is the key to where this storm forms. This energy across British Columbia is going to be diving to the southeast. Now, right now, a lot of what we're showing is that we're going to get a, a dip in the jet stream a little farther east, so we have to worry about a coastal storm. But I am warning you now, I could see how this trough is a little farther to the west, which case we can get a storm that goes across the Midwest. So there are many possibilities with this storm as we head into the latter half of the week. So with that in mind, we want to give you an idea. Where are we going to be getting the disruptive snow? Now keep in mind with that Arctic boundary, you're going to get an inch or two of snow just with that. And then where the storm forms, you start getting bigger snows. Is that area in the Midwest that get the bigger snows? Or is it closer to the Northeast? I don't know yet. But I think this is the area from the Southern Plains across the Midwest and in the interior sections of the Northeast, you need to be ready for snow. Now, along the I-95 corridor, there is a way, there is a way we can get this storm to come up the coast and you can get a snowstorm too. I think the odds of that are smaller than farther to the North and West. So that's why we do not have the I-95 cities Boston, New York City, Philadelphia in the snow yet. It is a possibility. I tend to favor it a little farther to the west. But make no mistake about it, in this blue, you need to be ready for accumulating snow and blowing snow with rapidly falling temperatures Thursday into Friday. And if this storm really gets going and we don't have competing storm centers, we could be looking at a blizzard somewhere in this area. So that's what you need to be ready for. Now behind this storm, here comes the Arctic air. Wednesday across the Dakotas, Thursday's Midwest, Friday as we get into the Northeast, depending on where that storm goes, and then by the weekend, the, the cold air is in. And this is likely to be the coldest Christmas day in decades for many, and it's gonna be widespread. We think even down into Texas, South Texas, we could have freezing temperatures. Sub-zero temperatures likely in the Northern Plains and the Rockies. And in this area around Chicago, we could be in the teens or even single numbers. And that cold goes right toward the East Coast. And because of the area, the other thing we're gonna see is a major, major spike in heating demand. Mischief and mayhem next week. We had that this week. I don't think we're looking at severe weather outbreaks, 
because I think the cold air is too widespread and too strong, but we could see a blizzard and we most definitely will see a snowstorm. Stay with us. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out these other videos here and be sure to subscribe for new content and the latest weather news from AccuWeather.